so I told myself I'd come back to this. Sorry, it's been a minute. So I'm gonna give you guys um, like a quick run through of the journal, let you know what's all in it. Okay, so to start, we have an oath page, just promises you're making to yourself throughout your dating journey. And then you go into what you want, what you don't want um, for a lifelong partner, a place to reflect on those things and a little bit of insight on how to use the journal. Then we have a before you begin page that has characteristics to look for in a person that make relationships healthy and enjoyable. And then um, right below that, you have some tips for yourself on things to keep in mind uh, while going through the dating journey. Then I made some healthy communication infographs on active listening, examples of healthy communication. And then um, the key to communication one is uh, tips in responding while you're communicating. Then I don't know if anybody else remembers this, uh, but there used to be flow charts in like Cosmo and Seventeen Magazine. So this is something a lot like that. And it's a place to come whenever you're like lost in a connection. You like start at the top and then you go throughout the questions and then either you and you either you land in the graveyard or you land in the keep moving forward in this connection and obviously it's not black and white but it's helpful when your mom doesn't answer your sister doesn't answer and you need an answer right now or some like guidance in any way okay so then moving into like the evaluation pages this i tried to keep it kind of basic um but it's age, job, height, how you met, and then um, six categories to rate one through five, and then turn on, turn offs, things that you like about this person, things that you're just like, man, not a big fan of, red flags, anything that like stands out that might be problematic. Um, then you have the shovels at the top, and these are like lives. Obviously, it's situational and varies from person to person, but like for me, someone would lose like a life on there. Uh, if they said they would call and they didn't and obviously there was like not a car crash not something crazy they just didn't follow up or like uh, they ditched on a date and then just kind of wanted to scoot over it like that would be a no-go for me and then once you've lost six of those at least as far as like how I use it that's the graveyard I'm not coming back I'll just send you a text like hey sorry I'm not interested in continuing this or pursuing this further enjoyed getting to know you xyz then you have the lasting impression so lasting impressions is how you feel about them at the end of the connection like when everything comes to a close what are your lasting thoughts about this person and then the what you've learned part is how you're leaving this and what you've learned about yourself so this is more you focused and then this is more them focused and then on the back of every evaluation page, there's a notes section to list anything that doesn't quite fit into the standard layout. Then at the very back, I have some reading recommendations that I just find extremely helpful. All these are female authors. And then a note from the author on the back. Let me know if you have any more questions.